this is Chill Computer Guy. Today we're here in Bitwig Studio. We are going to be taking a look at a couple of things. Uh, first off, up here, where it shows you know your beats and bars, your ruler, your timeline, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you'll see the frame of the of the window right here, and then you'll see the loop marker right here, and then if you go further down, you know you're into the the actual clip area. This area right here a lot of there's a lot of functionality in this small little area here in other words if I drop below uh, the frame I get a magnifying glass and we know if I hold down on the mouse button I can zoom out zoom in just like you know uh, Ableton this is basically Ableton it's exactly backwards though I believe the up and down is reversed but I could be wrong but also when you have this magnifying glass if you double click you're gonna play from that point single click will create a marker but a double click will play from that point use your space bar or whatever to stop now if you go down a little bit further you'll see the loop marker it turns to a selection uh, from a magnifying to a selection type arrow this you can actually move your loop marker freely and so that's that's a pretty useful like if you just want to set this at two bars or four bars and then you can just work just move your loop down your song and really work on it um, also you can go to the ends here and size this like any standard uh, DAW but something that I just discovered recently is if you go down and you write on the tip the bottom tip of that loop marker you'll get a pen tool and what you can do is hold down and dry your loop marker if you don't have the loop regent already in that section it will go from the magnifying glass and then right into so you have a wider the amount of functionality within that small space is something that you know if you've never used Ableton like I've never really been a big Ableton guy I was a reason guy um, and so this may be comp like really common for an Ableton user to maybe see this particular uh, I'm not used to that amount of functionality in a small area coming from reason nothing bad about reason I seem Reason is what I've always written my best music and I've yet to write a track in Pitwick Studio that is as good as what I can write in Reason. That may change. I don't know. You drop below the frame, you're going to get a magnifying glass. Hold down, up and down to zoom in and out. Okay, double click to start from that point. Single click to set a marker. Go below that, you'll get a pen tool you can set your loop marker. If you go in the middle of the loop marker, you get a selection arrow. You can actually move your loop marker. Okay. And then if you go down slightly below that, you'll get a pen tool again. You can resize, reset your loop marker. Okay. Chill Computer Guy, we'll see you next week.